favourite, and uh, Charlie Edgerton trainer walked the track uh, before declaring this horse to run. The drying ground certainly helped his cause. They come down towards the second flight of hurdles, all negotiated the first, and it's uh, Sir Talbot up with the pace. Is Mino the inside of Vondu going fast? And Serenus is up with the pace. Right on the stand side, Fidel Care is uh, going around. Dane Gold just behind them. Decoupage is tucked away. Jim Fox is in a, a midfield run at the moment for the Pittman team. Pittman. Then uh, once more for Luck is out the back. Come down towards the second. And you really go and look at his split. Is Mino and uh, Fidel Care split by the width of the track. And um, then uh, up there is Serenus. And also running fast is Vondu. Samakar on the inside. And also with the pace having jumped that one is Sound Appeal. So they're bunching up front. And just behind the French third and then the ginger fox is next and that's in a in about a uh, seventh or eighth place uh, just ridden by richard dunwood is a horse blinker for the first time today at this stage decoupage is quite some way down the track once more for luck is out the back but he normally is and also uh, well in the rear is medai menacea the gray but up front as they go hurly burly around that third we've now got a new leader in it in decisions who's cut through the pack to leap from Miss Mino in second place. Uh, Nick Fitzgerald has Premier Generation heavily in midfield at the moment, uh, halfway down the pack as they head towards the next. And here is Mino with the first to rise. From in second place, Vonzo now on the outside, Sir Talbot with Buddy Marvel, executive decision still right there in the firing line. Sam Khan is uh, just tracking the leader. Serenus is there, Fatal Care on the far side, followed by Ginger Fox, took it in still about eighth or ninth place wearing the light blue headgear, just pushed along orange and yellow colours, Richard Dunwoody, as they continue along the back straight, is Mino from Executive Decision, Vonzo, Sir Talbot, Buddy Marvel and Sam Khan, and then the French Furs towards the inside, as they continue on the far side, Toto Descarto has improved, Ginger Fox out wide then, followed by Serena, as they make this top left-hand turn, behind the pack, Chantarini, Decoupage making headway now in the light blue cap in about ninth or tenth, improving on the bridle. At the top of the hill, another flight is Mino and Executive Decision. From Bonzo, about three lengths behind them in third then, with the Talbot towards the outside, and then Toto Descarto, Samakar on the inside, hunted up by Decoupage. Then Buddy Marvel, Ginger Fox still being shoved along. Sadler's Realm is making a bit of headway from the back. The French Furs on the inside. But they swing left-handed at the top of the hill. His executive decision in the county hurdle from his Mino Sir Talbot, Toto Toscato, Sam Khan, and then Decoupage waiting to pick them up. Buddy Marvel, Serena's behind these, then Ginger Fox and Chantarini. Trying to come with a run, but none going better at this stage than uh, the jolly old favourite decoupage. Uh, Norman Williams is pulling out wide. The one that's tailed off the grey is Medai Militaire. Come down towards the second last, over which it's going to be Sir Talbot who knows it for the lead. Chandarini and decoupage follow through on the inside. Executive decision is trying to keep up the gallop. Toto Cascato runs a big race. Bloody Marvel can't be ruled out of it. But it's Sir Talbot who spins round the turn and heads for home. That has the edge here as they come down towards the final flight. Decu Decoupage is uh, closing in. Then behind these, they've got Chantarini as they race inside the fire. Uh, Samakan with the faller on the bend. They come down towards the final flight. And Sir Talbot. But here goes Decoupage. They've spread clear from Sato Toscato, the final flight. And it's Sir Talbot spring heel. Decoupage in second place, but he's trying to close for the punters. A long way clear to Toscato and an executive decision. And it's Sir Talbot for Jimmy Murphy in the lead. Decoupage is trying to close, but he's being held in the line. And it's going to be St. Talbot, Vincent O'Brien, handicap hurdle. St. Talbot wins clear of decoupage. And then in third, it's going to be close. Cedric Costado just holding on from Sadler's Realm. But the executive decision follows through uh, by Dangold, who came home well. Also finishing uh, with quite a flurry with Stan the field. The field trails back to walk on mix and master bevel who never got a chance indiana princess was out the back so too medai militaire fatal car and road racer and samakan's jockey shane kelly was on his seat following that uh, slip up on the home turn but our winner here is number 12 at 10 to 1 that's uh, sir talbot the colors of wally sturt good to see him having a winner Wall puts a lot of money into this game jumps and flat and uh, sponsor here jim old horses have been a a little bit disappointing at the festival, but they've uh, come out with a winner in the most competitive race of the entire meeting. That's the Vincent O'Brien County Handicap Hurdle. Second horse, I think, we'll find is number three, Decoupage. Norman Williamson had a lot of horse from a long way out, but it just wasn't good enough. Third was Toto Toscato running an honest race, and he'll be faced with advantage of the young five-year-old. It's both.
Luke report that Battle of Realm was doing his best wake in the closing stages. There's our winner.